Homebrew Setup Tutorial. The methods on this page will walk you through running Homebrew Launcher and any downloaded apps on your WIIU from the SD card. Before we get started, please keep in mind the following. Currently, all public WIIU exploits do not permanently modify the console to run Homebrew. This may be changing in the future with an exploit in the security OS, but as of this time the exploits must be executed every time. The Homebrew Launcher, or HBL, by Dymac is the primary way that the average user should run homebrew apps at this time. It has a few limitations, but overall it is comparable to the WII's homebrew channel. The most common way to get homebrew up and running, is to download HBL and any apps you want to the SD card, and then run the GX2 exploit from the WII US browser. This can be done through one of several exploit sites, or by self-hosting, see below. HBL is installed to an SD card, as per the notice at the top of this page. There are a few options on how to install it to the SD card. Option A, copy the files to your SD card. This method requires a computer. To install the homebrew launcher, you only need to ensure that it is in the appropriate spot on the SD card download the zip file from the release page and copy the Wii U folder to the root of the SD card. It must be formatted as FAT32. Option B, visit wiiubrew.com slash geo. This method can be done on the WIIU directly. Insert a FAT32 formatted SD card into the WIIU, and then visit http colon slash slash wiiubrew.com slash geo on your WIIU in the browser. This requires the latest WIIU firmware 5.5.1. After going there, click the let's go button, and then download HBL from the menu that pops up. If no menu comes up within 2 minutes, try it again. Step 2, Running the Browser Exploit Option A, Use an Exploit Site This method requires an internet connection. The exploit site is responsible for executing the downloaded files that are on the SD card. There are several public exploit sites available. Due to the nature of the kernel exploit, some sites may perform better than others. These sites must be opened on the WIIU by using the system's built-in browser. Here are a few sites, choose one. HTTP colon slash slash lodiine.ovh HTTP colon slash slash wiiubrew.com slash x HTTP colon slash slash googiehacks.xyz HTTP colon slash slash nwplayer123.github.io slash wiiu HTTP colon slash slash surbeethoven.github.io slash popcorn And here's a list of more. Option B, self-host. This method does not require an internet connection. Rather than using an exploit site hosted by someone else, you can directly host the exploit packages on your computer. For more information on how to do this, see Kofluk's self-hosting guide. You can also try the web hosting zip resource from from Dymac. Step 3 use homebrew. If the kernel exploit runs successfully, you should be looking at the homebrew launcher main screen, in addition to whatever other apps you have installed in SD slash Wii U slash apps. For a full list of homebrew apps available to download, see the homebrew directory. Step 4, Blocking Updates. As opposed to the WII, the WIIU console will automatically update itself when a new firmware version is released. As a result, it is a good idea to install some form of protection from allowing your WIIU to perform a system update. Note, the WIIU will still update even if automatic updates are disabled in settings, the setting refers to game updates, not system ones. Option A, use Tubihox. Tubihox blocks Nintendo's update URLs at the DNS level to prevent system updating. To set it up, Set the primary DNS for your WII US Wi-Fi connection in system settings to 107.211.140.065. Leave the secondary at 0.0.0.0 or also set it to 107.211.140.065. The instructions are similar to the 3DS. Option B, block in your router. These are the domains that need to be blocked to prevent system updates. There may be more. Someone please fact check this. nus.cdn.c.shop.nintendowifi.net nus.cdn.shop.wii.com 
nus.cdn.wup.shop.nintendo.net nus.wup.shop.nintendo.net nus.c.shop.nintendowifi.net c.shop.nintendowifi.net Option C, keep it offline. For the paranoid user, the WII you can simply have no internet connections configured.